when shingling a valley, you don't want to put the one that goes across the valley first. Notice that was his second one. That one, he's staggering about six inches over there. It's easier to get that one on square, and then he'll butt the edge of that one up to his square one, nail it down, push it down. So this over here, you're not worried about it at all. Once you nail that side, you just push it into the crotch and then pop it there. Most manufacturers specify two nails in this side, and you always wanna keep your nails minimum of six inches away from the valley, but we uh, play it safe. His nails are probably a good 14 inches. Puts one there and then puts a second one following the angle of the valley parallel with it up top. Over here, I mean, same deal. He's, he's about 14, 15 inches out. And yeah, I was gonna say, he might back this one back the other way and overlap it six inches past over there since he's coming up out of the valley like halfway at the shingle, but he's at the top, so it doesn't really matter at this point. But down there, those steps are where he's taking the shingle back that way, so he's taking that offset 12 inches in that direction just to save shingles, basically. So he's done, almost. He's gonna put one more strip on there. And you're only gonna see probably the bottom two inches of that shingle, that's why he's nailing it right there, is there's gonna be a ridge vent. And he's not gonna cut it off because we're not gonna get to that today. So we'll probably fold it over um, just to protect it from the freak pop-up shower. There's some starter strip that haven't been broken in half yet. We got our passer here. Feeding them shingles so they can do what they do best, which is nailing. Six nails per shingle is what we typically do.